Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how adjacent angles differ from vertical angles. Sometimes we just get confused that uh, what is uh, what, what what are the adjacent angles and what are vertical angles and what are their properties while solving the angle. So it is very important that you should know their difference so that whenever you are you solve the problems related to the angles, you can easily use their properties to find the unknown angles. So Let's see what are adjacent angles. So the adjacent angles are defined as the two angles that share a common side or you can say that share a common arm and a common vertex. Now, no need to worry about and I'll, uh, I will draw it and so that you can easily understand what are adjacent angles. Keep this in mind that adjacent angles as I have written adjacent angles. It means it, these are the pair of angles two angles we are talking about two angles not the one so adjacent angles is a, you can say the type of the angles that are that exist in pairs so if we see say let's say this is a this is o b and c so if i label it this point o is the vertex and these lines are the arms that is blue line you can say this line this is also the arm so the angles here are if this one is one angle you can say if if i write here that this is an angle alpha and this is and this is an angle beta now if i say that angle alpha and angle beta these are the two angles that are share a common side side mean arm so this is also an arm they are sharing alpha angle and the beta angle they are sharing a common arm that is ob if i mention here this arm is OB. So angle A and angle B are sharing a common arm or side that is OB and a common vertex. So the vertex is also common. So it means that the two angles alpha and beta are the adjacent angles or if I write here angle alpha and angle beta and angle beta are adjacent angles or I can also say that the angle AOB is adjacent to angle BOC. So I will also write that for your convenience. Angle AOB, you have to put the vertex uh, point in the center always. And angle BOC are adjacent angles. So this is how the adjacent angles are defined. And it is not necessary that they are uh, adjacent in this manner. They can also be adjacent in a way like for your convenience I will draw here like if the angles are like the, this so you can say that these two angles are also adjacent and so on. So the condition is they should share a common vertex and the common arm or side. Then we have the vertical angles let's see how they are defined. I have also explained the vertical angle in my previous lecture in detail but here I will give you the short uh, intro. So the vertical, vertical angles are defined as the pair of opposite angles formed by intersection of two lines. So let's draw them. If we have the two lines like this or in any you can say in, in, in any angle in, in, in any angle between them but they must intersect each other formed by intersection of two lines. This is the one condition and pair of opposite angles. Now oppo what does it mean? Now let's draw the angles first. One angle is this and the other angle is this. It means these two angles are opposite to each other. Then we have one angle is this and one angle is this. These angles are also opposite to each other. So now let's label them. If I say this is angle A, this is B, this is C and this is D. And where is the vertex? This is the vertex. So, so whenever you have the two lines that intersect each other and they uh, that intersect each other, then the angles formed uh, uh, in the opposite positions will be the vertical angles. So here what will be the vertical angles if I write angle A and angle B are vertical angles then angle C and angle D are vertical angles. So this is how the vertical angles are defined and in order to understand it in them in detail you can refer to my previous lecture. Now the second difference between them is the, ad in the adjacent angles share a common side as a common arm as well as the common vertex. So if I write here what do they share? Share common arm 
एंड वर्टेक्स टू थिंग्स दे शेयर टू थिंग्स इन कॉमन वाइल द वर्टिकल एंगल्स शेयर ओनली अ वर्टेक्स वाइल वर्टिकल एंगल्स शेयर अ कॉमन वर्टेक्स बट नॉट द आर्म बिकॉज दे आर ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर कॉमन वर्टेक्स बट नॉट आर्म आर्म और साइड बिकॉज दे आर ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर नाउ द लास्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम इज द एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स आर नॉट ऑलवेज इक्वल दे कैन बी इक्वल बट दे आर नॉट ऑलवेज इक्वल सो इट मीन्स देर इज नो कंडीशन दैट द एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स शुड बी इक्वल वाइल द वर्टिकल एंगल्स आर ऑलवेज इक्वल इन मैयर सो दीज वर द मेजर डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन द टू टाइप्स ऑफ पेयर ऑफ एंगल and it is very necessary for you to understand them so that you can easily find the unknown angle whenever you are given with some problem so one important thing about adjacent angles is sometimes you will came across the angles like if i draw here two pair of angles like this so these will not be the adjacent angles because they are not sharing the common arm as well as the vertex in case you came across another form like like this and here one angle is alpha and the other angle is like this that is beta then alpha and beta will not be adjacent angles keep this in mind alpha and beta will not be adjacent angle in such a form they must share a common arm but in this case they are not sharing a common arm while here this is the common arm that they are sharing so th that's all about adjacent angles and vertical angles thank you